This video is on question 56 from the 2011 IMATS paper. In this question, we're asked which adaptation cannot help the speed of transmission in a motor neuron. And we're given the option long axon, nodes of Ranvier, synapse, the presence of an insulating myelin sheath, and a greater axon diameter. So we start with a, a long axon. So this is our axon here, with the signal being um, propagated along by the movement of ions. And as there are no junctions in this axon, um, uh, the junctions being synapses between um, neurons, this means that there's no diffusion, and it's the diffusion of the neurotransmitter across the synapse, which is slow, and what slows the signal. So the long axon helps to minimize this. If we, say, look at a short axon with multiple stages where diffusion can occur, that is the synapse between uh, neurons, um, this is much slower, as this diffusion can't be sped up by these other adaptations. So yes, a long, uh, a long axon uh, can help the speed of transmission in a motor neuron, so it's not the long axon. Now I'm actually going to deal with B and D together. So here we have a diagram of a motor neuron with the myelin sheath labelled, that's these, and the nodes of Ranvier labelled, which are these um, areas between the myelin sheath, where the myelin sheath is not covering the axon. And so myelin sheath is um, insulating and it prevents uh, the any current from occurring there, and so instead, the current jumps between these nodes of Ranvier, um, as these nodes of Ranvier lack the myelin sheath, so the current can occur here, and this allows a large portions of the um, axon's length to be skipped out. Um, those lengths being those which are covered by the myelin sheath, and so overall, it reduces the distance that the current must flow, and therefore allows the um, transmission to be faster. Next, I'll address point E. So, if we have a greater axon diameter, so a wide axon diameter compared to a narrow one, there's there's less resistance to the flow of ions uh, when the axon has a wide diameter, and this low resistance allows the transmission to be faster. So, finally, we have the synapse, which is simply the space between uh, one neuron and another, or one neuron and, say, a target effector cell. And the synapse is the adaptation which can't increase the trans speed of transmission in a motor neuron, because in the synapse, the signal, in the form of um, the neurotransmitter, can only move at the rate of diffusion, which is comparatively slow, um, compared to the rate at which the signal is transmitted along the, uh, the neurons. And so our answer is C.